Don't pay attention. You get it? Okay, so now let's look at this. We have do 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 do. We have 168. One six to eight, and that's square root of fifty. I don't want to just do the easy ones. So let's do. Let's go ahead and do one seventy two. One seventy two, and that's. Repeat. 
you know for any adults in here? Yeah, so I can say five. Right? I can bring that to the outside. And what's left on inside my record? Three. Right? Now, if we really use the correct one first, we're going to have to go to the extra step. Let me show you the correct factor of 75 that we could use. How many quarters is 75 cents? Three. Three. So I know they have a factor of 25 in there, right? Mm -hmm. 25 times 3. Is 25 a perfect square? Mm -hmm. Yes. So I can move the 5 to the outside of my wrap and leave the 3 on the inside. Is that the same answer? Mm -hmm. Either way, it's still the same thing. This is going to cause an additional step. That's it. Okay, let's do that. 
Let's factor out. And we can write this a different way. Y'all want to show another way to write it? Too? Yeah. Okay. So I can say this is times, right? And that's times, give me some factors of 24. 8 times 3. Huh? 8 times 3. 8 times 3? So I have an 8 and I have a 3. Right? If this simplified, nope, they got more factors. If this simplified, all right, so, yeah. So I got 33 times, what is the factor of 8? So I have 4, I got square root of 2, I got square root of 3. All right? 4 is not square root of 3. Did anyone want to use the first square? No. Huh? Yes. What is the square root of 4? So I have 33 times 2. And I have times 2 times the square root of 3. Now I can multiply What is 33 times 2? 66. 66. What is the square root of 2 times the square root of 3? How are you going to multiply six. the square root of 6? And that's it. And we're going to use the correct one. Let me just show you. Y'all got it written down? No. Write it down let me, and let me show you from the beginning what we should have done. And we could have skipped all these steps. You looking like you looking like you beat. Okay. I'm doing beat. Let me know when I can go. I got to write that thing though. All right. Everybody finna right? I'm not in a rush. I'm in no rush. Finna right. I can go. Okay, let me show you what we should have done first, right? Anytime you factor out a number, you always want to factor out a perfect square. Does 24 have a factor that's a perfect square? What, what is it? Six, not a perfect square. Four. Four is a perfect square. So four times six is a perfect square. What is the square root of four? Two. So I have two times thirty-three. And what's left? Six. Right? Now what's left on, on the outside? Two times thirty-three is what? Fifty-six. Square root of six. And I say you about four or five steps. Every time you factor, factor out a perfect square. And we're going to touch up on this again. Just try to do your best. And the one you can't do, just say it for me. But uh, I got your class working your homework. And we'll touch on it again Wednesday.